Okay, hi, my name's John Hare. I'm a bit of a dinosaur um, UK developer. I've been designing games since 1985. Made about 10 number one games all across Europe. Uh, this is my new game. It's my first original game in 20 years. It's called Word Explorer, and it takes you all across the world, discovering the world, taking photographs everywhere, collecting them. It's kind of what we're going to show you today. So here we see the main menu of uh, Word Explorer. There's three main game modes. There's Play, which is a big adventure mode. There's Quick, which just gives you a quick arcade-like level, and Versus, which is multiplayer. But the main game mode's Play, and that's what we're going to go for now. OK, so in our game, you've got the whole world mapped out in little trips around the world. And as you start somewhere, you unlock and slowly explore the world. You can start anywhere you want. In this case, this game's already been opened up a little bit. And we can start in Britain. And you can see here, there's eight, eight levels per region. This is the UK region. This has got round to level six being completed, and level seven here has just been unlocked. So I'm going to show you how the game works. Okay. So Word Explorer is like a crossword that's been mapped across the entire world. And you can imagine a hex grid mapped around the world. We're connecting with the major cities in the world via these crossword grids. So we move around the world by answering clues. So this, place of care for the terminally ill is a clue. This is an anagram, and we have to work out how to swap the letters around to get the right answer. This E is correct, it hasn't got one of these hangy little stems on it. So I'm going to position this, the answer is hospice. Press OK. OK, and we're on the way. We're starting to move down the road towards our destination city here, which is Durham. So I'll do another one here. Symbol. This, of course, is some ancient mystical symbol. The answer's on. Off we go. If we've got a clue and we don't know the answer to it, and that's pretty hard, this one, we can press hint. Press hint again. If we're not sure, we try that. If we get any letters wrong, you can try again. So you can keep on going and eventually normally get the answer right. And if we don't know the, if we, I'll just do this one there, it's quite quick. So, these are what we call photo opportunities. So around the game, imprinted in all these um, crosswords, we've got photographs. In fact, all the way around the world, we've got two and a half thousand photographs. So this is a very big collecting game. The answer here, which most British guys will know, although they might struggle with some of the US landmarks, it might be the opposite way around. Uh, but the answer here is Hadrian's Wall. We get our answer. We take a photograph. We get a bit of money. And by taking photos all around the world, we earn game money, which we need to buy boats and planes to travel further around, or new cameras or stuff like this. If we get a word like this in arrear, this is quite complicated, and we really don't know the answer, we can press pass here, which gives us the answer. We get one pass per grid. So we really want to try and use that as sparingly as possible. I'm just going to go through a few more of these answers here. If we see this thing, we wonder what it is, we press it. It's a special offer. This is adding me three minutes of extra time so I can complete the level for 3,000 game credits. Seeing as I've been talking too much, this is actually very useful and I'm going to take it. Okay. So now, I've got three more minutes, which means uh, you can see my clock's ticking down here. So my three minutes, so I might actually have time to finish this and show you what happens at the end. So there we go. Inferior position, back seat. What I'm going to try and do is collect all the green letters here. If I get one, you'll be able to see what I mean. So, I'm bomb. Okay. So I've got the M here. I'm trying to collect all these six letters and I can progress to the next level. Mm. Ah, okay, there we go. So basically, I don't know if you can pick up the music here. But the music here is it's kind of British traditional music. It's actually probably more Irish than English. But we theme the music differently in every single location. So this is your British music. If you're in uh, West Coast United States, you get something like Pulp Fiction. If you're in Mexico, uh, you get some Spanish guitar stuff. So 
just helps to make you feel you're in the region anyway. Right. Review, recap. There's 30 words per grid. You can see I've got now 15 left. I'm halfway through, so I've got to start motoring. Okay. And in fact, I'm not going to complete the whole grid. I'm just going to get the green letters. So we do this now. So you can see right now, I've got... Ah, I've got one more to get. Okay, where are we? Road. Another photo, which is nice. Some of you guys might know this place. It's good fun to go out at night. If you don't mind getting cold. Another special offer here, you can see what this is. This is asking me to want to boost my bank balance, I don't know this time, but these special offers pop up. You can just say no. They sell you stuff if you want it. Okay, so now I've got all six letters, the flags turn green. I can try and finish the whole grid, which gives me extra bonuses at the end, but because we're going to be this quick, I'm just going to click here. I've got to Durham and finish. So now I unlock this photo for Durham, get a bit more money. And then I get a bronze bonus photo. In this case, it's a dog associated with the north of England called a Whippet. We answer this. Another photo to my collection. Trip complete. And now we get our score screen so we can see. I've got 212 prize money. Here's my score. If I'd have been faster or, or done the game in less moves, I'd have got a higher score. So there's long-term replayability here. We continue. We go back to the map. We get an ad pop-up. We make it go away. You can click if you want, we get some money. <laughs> uh, and now you can see I've unlocked trip eight. Also, on some of the trips, I'm, you unlock new maps. So this, for example, is a map going across to Boston. This map's going down, this boat's going down to France, and this boat's going across to Norway. I think this is gonna offer me to boost my bank balance again. If I had a little bit more money, it might offer me a special offer to get a half price boat across to Boston right now. I don't have the 3,000 necessary, so it's not offering me that. So I can go to here, but first I'm going to show you some of the photo collection stuff. So, every single trip, you get what we call a special uh, photo collection. So this in, we've got a Loch Ness here. And you can see this is Great Lakes and Waterfalls from all around the world. We've got Lake Titicaca in uh, South America, Lake Superior, one of the Great Lakes and the Sea of Galilee, which is pretty nice if you want to go and visit that. We've got another boat here, again offering us a bit more bank balance, no thanks. And this is a different special collection, this is sea and water birds, again from all over the world. These are rodents and small mammals. If we want to look at the animal, we can click on the animal. We still keep the photograph and the, and the facts here. If we like it, we can put it in our gallery. So, don't forget there's two and a half thousand of these in the game, these photos and these fa facts. So you, you're all the so time building up a massive encyclopedia. There's a dog here, a great crested newt, and back to Loch Ness. So we can go back and then pick our next level, or if we like, we can choose to jump over here to South America or to the States. Say if we want to go to the Western US, we can choose to fly here. So if we want to fly here, we just press. We need 10,000 in the bank. I haven't got it, so I won't be able to fly. So it's going to say, if you want to go to Carmel, you can go, but you need more game money. If you don't want to do that, you've got to go the slow road, which is to go all the way around the levels, collecting the coins, to afford enough money to get the boats, and slowly make your way across, like I said, from Ireland across to Boston, to the, to the eastern US, and then you could come slowly across to the west. The other thing we've got in the game is our shop items here. If you want to buy stuff, Hints if you run out of them. Travel cards that give you cheap boats and planes. Extra cameras. Turn the ads off if you want. These are all in game currency. If you run out of game currency, you can use these coins to top up your game currency. And then we've got a leveling up system. So you have, I'm a level three right now. To get to level four, these two are ticked. I just need to reach 10 destinations. Currently I've reached seven. So when I get to 10 of those green flags and, cl and close them off, I'll get up to the next level. When we level up, we get these achievement medals here. And also these are the achievement medals for the special collections. These are like the dogs and the, the seabirds and the stuff we've just been looking at. They get brighter and brighter until they glow bright silver. That means you've got the whole collection. So there's a whole bunch of long-term stuff to aim for. And of course, we've got leaderboards. So here's the leaderboards which show us all the photos we've collected. You can get up to two and a half thousand of these. The score can go very high. The stars, I can't remember the number. It's round about. 750 
Number of words, there's 25,000 words in this game. It's got an absolutely colossal dictionary. So every time you go back to play a level, you'll have different words in there. The photographs will remain the same, but the, the regular words will change. Bank balance, and then quest and safari score. These are relating to the quick modes. If we go back to play quick mode, this is just a quick arcade level. It's just, it doesn't scroll. It's just a bunch of words with some random photos thrown in. In this case, we're in the, what we call the safari section. <laughs> You'd hardly find a poodle on a safari, but these are basically all animals. And they're just mixed up from all around the world. So, I don't know what this next animal over here is gonna be. It's a flamingo. There you go. So we've got about 900 animal photos. Obviously, they're quite pretty animal photos. So, that in a nutshell is World Explorer. It's a great big world exploring game. It's a very easy, casual user interface. It's got a multiplayer mode here, which has got like your quick grid. And you just go on to Game Center, challenge another guy. You've got three minutes to see who gets the best score. That goes into a leaderboard. And you can make your way up the leaderboard and try and get, I can't remember where I was here. If I go to the leaderboards, my current league position is fifth in the world, but the game's not released yet. It's out in three or four weeks. So right now, I'm fifth because there's not that many people playing it apart from a few of the testers.